ready to see a Sunday comic strip getting inked? Then this is a video you need to check out. Hello everyone, it's me, your old pal Max West. I draw comics, I do children's picture books, and here I'm doing the inks for a Sunday comic strip. All right. I'm using this big Blue Line Art Pro. We're going to be doing things a little differently here. I'm going to be using mainly markers as well as a, um, a rapidograph pen. That's what I usually do since that's, this gets colored in much later. Hmm? Ah, I have this chisel tip marker. And in this first panel, I'm going to be using it to make a very thick, fat line for this mountain here in the extreme foreground. Yeah, this Sunday comic strip, some of our characters will be up in the mountains. All right. All right. Now here I've got the Koinor epitograph. This is a .50 millimeter size. Now you see that we have a contrast. We have a thick line contrasting with a thin line. This is in the foreground. This is in the background. Later on when I ink this, I'm going to use darker colors up front as well as lighter colors in back. That's a principle called atmospheric perspective. Now here I'm going to ink in our two characters in this comic strip. Here we have Pickaxe Paul local prospector. You rarely see him in, in Poison Ivy Gulch. He's usually out of town in the wild digging for precious metals like gold and silver. He's going to get uh, colored in later on. <laughs> yeah, you notice here he's um, his very shaggy hair and a beard. Not unlike that of Erwin Troll from Broomhilda. trying to mix up my character designs, people have attacked me on Sunnyville stories for being much too stupid and lazy. They say I draw the same face on each and every character. Those people are idiots, of course. Right, so there we have Pickaxe Paul. Here I'm going to draw Ace. He's up with Ace on this, he's up, Ace is up high on this mountain here, with Pickaxe Paul. And yeah, they're just going to set up the joke here in a moment. Yeah, here he's got a vest on instead of his usual buckskin. I like that Billy Jack style hat that I gave him. Get you inked. 
I'm using marker and pen here, as this will be colored in later with professional art markers. All right, so there we are. We have our two characters up in the mountains. There we are. All right, now I'm going to I'm going to use a very thick line here since this is a close up of pickaxe ball. I'm going to use this nice fat thick pigment liner. It's 1.2 millimeters. After I finish this, and I ink in another comic strip, I have a batch of uh, comics to upload for the rest of this month, July as well as August. I also have to begin work on planning the uh, first Poison Ivy Gulch book. That's coming out next year. Ah, there we go. See? A nice thick line there. I'm just going to wrap it up by adding some details here. Yeah, you see they're in the cloud. They're above the clouds. Yeah, they're even in the clouds now. Yeah, you see what I did there? Ah. And there we are. Once this dries, I'll erase it, fill in the areas of black, and then we add the color. Well, that's it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you like what you see here, check out more of my work at PoisonIvyGulch.com. The link is below in the description. Until next time, friends, it's me, Max West, saying goodbye.